guys, video game viewer here. Obviously, recently we just had the E3 convention, and I'm here to go over some of the, the cooler games that I saw that were announced during E3, maybe give my opinion on them a little bit. And also, we have a special guest today. We have Ian Higton from Game Tank TV, and he's going to go over some of his opinions about some of the games that were announced this year at E3. First off, I want to start with The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. It it looks it looks pretty good, but it just the graphics look like Nintendo 64 graphics. I think the colors are a little too flashy and um, I'm not going to go into a big spiel about all these games, but I don't know how I feel about the new Zelda game. I haven't really played a Zelda game since Nintendo 64's Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. And, uh, I don't know, it just, I'm kind of neutral about it. I don't know which way to lean either way. Also, at the top of my radar, one of the games that I definitely, definitely want to get my hands on is Donkey Kong Country Returns. It returns to a, pl a 2D platformer, and it looks just awesome. It really, when I saw the trailers for it, it brought me instantly back to my childhood playing it on the Super Nintendo and just the hours that I put into that game back then, and I really want to play it. The graphics look awesome, and it looks like it's staying pretty true to the older 2D games, such as the shooting barrels, collecting bananas. All the characters look like they're there. The only thing that I saw is uh, Diddy Kong had a jetpack, and I don't really remember him having that in the other games, but uh, we'll see how that ties in to the new game, but it definitely looks awesome. If you're a fan of Donkey Kong, you're definitely going to want to check that one out. Also, a really cool game coming out is the new GoldenEye. I wouldn't say it's a remake, but in the trailer that I saw, some of the levels do really look the same. Especially the first level um, where you're at the dam. That looks almost identical to the Nintendo 64 version. Um, and it just looks awesome. Can't wait to play that. That game looks superb. Some of the other games that are coming out are uh, a new Deuce X game. Obviously, Fallout New Vegas is coming out. That looks awesome. All games to keep track of, guys. But I'm going to turn it over to Ian here from, again, Game Tank TV. Hi, video game viewer. Ian from Game Tank here. Now, you emailed asking for my opinions on a couple of the new games that have been announced at E3 and also Microsoft's Kinect. So, um, yeah, here they are. Uh, the new Zelda games, Zelda Skyward Sword um, and Donkey Kong Country Returns are two, uh, two of the big announcements for Nintendo. Um, are not really the kind of games I play. I, I mean, you used to play Zelda loads. I loved it on the uh, SNES, and I had the original Game Boy one. But I haven't played Zelda for ages, and to be honest, my Wii is kind of untouched. I've played it loads recently because of Super Mario Galaxy 2. That's a wicked game. But since that, I've, I've played Dead Space Extraction, and I haven't really touched it. Um, so I don't know, not too really too bothered about those two games. I, I'll probably play them to uh, you know just check them out. Um, but you know they're not going to be something I'm going to rush out to play. To be honest, the new Goldeneye game, yes, that I'm very keen for. Um, it's not a remake. I think I think it's like a reimagining or like new levels done in the same style as Goldeneye, the original one for the N64, but with Daniel Craig in. So that's really cool. But um, you know, I'm more into first-person shooters and sci-fi games and survival horror games, not platform games. I'm a bit rubbish at them. So I'm really looking forward to Fallout New Vegas and uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Those are the two games I'm really excited about. Um, and then you asked about uh, my opinions on Connect. Now, Connect is... Um, uh, I'm not a big fan of motion controls. I, I think it's a pretty bad idea that Microsoft and Sony are, are copying Nintendo. Maybe if they'd have done it four years down the line, it would have been okay, but I think they're a bit late jumping on the bandwagon with this. The Nintendo's Wii is, is just completely full of absolute rubbish shovelware now. You've got to dig really deep to find anything good. And 
like Microsoft with the Xbox. As far as I'm concerned, that is the hardcore gamers machine. You know, if you're really into first-person shooters and online gaming, that's the one you want to get. And if you've seen the trailer for Connect, Connectimals, Connect Animals, I don't know how you say it. Search for it on YouTube. Check it out. It's such a bad trailer. It's got. It features a mum and two girls. Uh, really, really wet music, and it just it completely goes against everything that I'd want. Microsoft to be doing with the Xbox um, so yeah I'm not impressed and the launch games look like shovelware they look like recycled Nintendo games um, same with the PS Move uh, it's just a Wii without the controllers uh, until I get to play them I can't really tell but my first opinions are not excited about them at all I am excited about 3D uh, gaming though that looks wicked I can't wait until they start like bringing out 3D games. I tried a bit of uh, Metro 2033 in 3D and I was blown away. I think that's the future of gaming, not motion controlling. That's just a way to get money uh, from mums and little girls. Weird. Um, yeah, so, you know, I would much rather be sat down, joypad in hand, bag of Doritos next to me, playing the game, rather than flapping my hands around, trying to hit a ball, like, fuck! Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! oh, God. I'm okay. I'm all right. Oh! That's it for our show today, guys. Again, this has been the Video Game Viewer. And uh, also, guys, check out Game Tank TV. They are really awesome. they got some really cool videos over there, some interviews with people. They also um, have a video of them with the guy who did the voice for Mario, which is a super cool video, definitely one of my favorites. Link is going to be in the bottom, guys. So check out Game Tank TV. And as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.